So welcome back to episode 2 of Review Starlight. Now, the first episode was, it started off really simple. Um, it was just a girl who was in a class of theater kids and they wanted to work together to make a play at the end of the year that's gonna be called Starlight. And then it was simple until it was not because then suddenly she went down this elevator in the middle of the school that like took the entire floor down and she met a talking giraffe and that was a freaking tournament arc and she entered it that was a machine that put costumes on her and she won the tournament and then the girl who was also in the tournament called them a, called her a bakaran what what happened there and i was left confused it was a fever dream but i believe i'm going to get some answers this episode so the imagery and all of the cinematography and the setting of the entire first episode was really cool. I really like how they did... I mentioned it in the first episode, but I really like how they did the... Mm, like, they had so much character in there, just walking and where they were talking. They felt like really animated theater kids, and I really liked it. They were always just, like, singing and kind of dancing around and doing some theatrical st steps and stuff. It was really cool. Also, you guys told me that there were some uh, VAs from Love Live. So that was, I have it written down here, Umi um, from Muse was Hikari, the, the girl with uh, black hair, right? The childhood friend. And then we had Lea from Saint Snow, or Lea, sorry, Lea from Saint Snow was Juna, and Shiorika was Banana or Nana. So that's cool to see. And also our main character is an, one of the side characters in Nijigasaki, I think, which is cool to see. Um, another thing that happened, and it's happening right now, is the first episode, it was almost a full 24 hours since I uploaded the previous episode. Um, and it is, in the past one hour, it legit tripled the views. I don't know what's happening, it's suddenly getting just an insane amount of views, out of nowhere. It legit tripled the views in the past one hour, even though it's been over 20 hours since I uploaded it. I don't know what's happening, but I'm grateful for it. Also, uh, for some reason, YouTube allows the full episode, at least episode one, was allowed to be fully uploaded onto YouTube. If it continues to do so, I will continue to upload them fully without cutting or editing, editing uh, anything out. But if it does not continue to do that, which I don't know if, if it will, maybe it was just like they allow episode one so it can get more recognition on other channels, but then starting with episode two, it doesn't allow it anymore. I don't know. If it doesn't allow it, I'm going to have to blur it and then the unblurred version is going to be on my Patreon. Mm, which is down in the description, but if it does keep allowing it, then I'm just gonna post the full uncut versions onto YouTube because that's the best for everyone, I'm sure. Um, yeah, it's gonna get demonetized, but who cares? I don't make money off of it anyway. Um, so yeah, anyways, I think I said everything I wanted to say. Uh, you guys have been really supportive uh, in the comments and with the likes and stuff on this series. A lot of you guys really seem to love this series a lot. So I am always excited when, uh, like, a com the community is really nice and accepting. I It always makes me so happy and excited to watch the show. So thank you guys for all of the kind words and the support on the video. So anyways, I feel like I've been talking for long enough. I'm so excited to watch more. If you want to watch this, Oh, yeah, I said it earlier, if you want to watch it uncut, in case it is uncut, oh, or sorry, in case it is cut, then it's going to be on my Patreon down in the description, or maybe it's going to be fully on YouTube. Um, I guess without further ado, let's go into Review Starlight Episode 2. I will seize my own star. Is that Hikari? Banana! Wait, I don't think it's Hikari. Ah! I... Forgot her name, but I really like her design. What's happening? Oh! Oh yeah, she was the one battling Hikari, was she? I think so, yeah. Oh, so this is VA of the giraffe. Giraffe is um. Anata no audition e no sanka ga mitomerare mashita. Eh? Nani? I'm 
I really like her. I like her energy. But I was gonna say the I can't even talk. There's so much talk happening. Is that Hikari? It is. Hi. Yeah, that's it. My my headphones are glitching out. I think it's my cable. Hopefully. The opening. You guys said there's no spoilers in it. I'm gonna watch it. I was gonna say the giraffe VA is so... Unique. And I know who it is. It's obviously Nanami from JJK. And Kishibe from... Okay, so man, also a character from Hibiki Euphonium. Also, he's in JoJo's. He's such a great VA. I love this part. I remember this. Uh. Okay. What's happening here? This looks like a magic girl anime from this opening. Not anymore. What? I love this. There's so much potential with what you can do with this. It's Kinema Citra as the studio that's making this, right? Damn, Kinema Citrus is making it, which is my favorite anime of all time is made by Kinema Citrus. That's made in Abyss. She's so weird. <laughs> Poor girl, she's so confused. What? Sorry, sorry for yelling. Oh, she didn't hear it? So it wasn't a dream. I Okay, I thought it wasn't a dream, but I didn't think it was going to be clarified this soon. That was an incredible sequence, by the way. Hello! Who are you? Tonda. It's not a Honda, it's a Tonda. Ah, it's this girl. Ah, she's like Kanata in Nijigasaki. She's always sleeping. I see. Futaba. And Kaoruko, right? I feel like it adds to the vibe. Oh, yeah, she's still worrying about that. Oh, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I really like her. Ah, caught in 4K. It's <laughs> so bold, yeah. I really like banana as well. Also, she doesn't sound like Shioriko at all. Oh, yeah. Ah, ha. So her win was. I mean, that makes sense. It felt, it felt really against the rules. She just jumped in. But I don't know. I don't know what the rules are. <laughs> 
I wonder how accurate this is to actual theater school or theater academy. I know nothing about theater and theater training. Oh. Higher? <laughs> you got it. Yes, I do. More to Yeah, poor girl. <laughs> She's an enigma, man. <laughs> yeah, they actually have tea. It's called tea. Wait, no, it's dinner, right? It's dinner and then it's tea. Yeah, I love her, this VI so much. Sanka. しちゃいましたからね。バカ。バカ。バカ。バカ。バカ。バカ。バカ。バカ。バカ。バカ。バカ。バカ。バカ。バカ。バカ。バカ。バカ。バカ。バカ。バカ。バカ。バカ。バカ
unknown VAs out for the most part, apart from the giraffe, which has an incredibly well-known VA. At least nowadays he's really well known. But the girls are pretty small, like apart from some of the I saw there were some who did like Bang Dream, some of them did Love Live and stuff. But apart from that, it's really interesting that they're bringing in like this kind of unknown VAs. It's so cool. あ、はい。完璧。最上さんの合わせも良かったんだって。お二人とも格好いい。観客気分なら出てって。うん。出てって。彼女たちを超えていかないと舞台の真ん中には立てないの。おお。おしみ。それくらいで。すみません。じゃ
私たちのオーディションを邪魔しないで。But キリン、やだキリン、did say that she was chosen. やめないから、オーディション。But she didn't get an email. I don't know. だって、時ってなったの。Oh no, she, maybe she didn't say. おしみさんに言われて。Wait, sorry. I'm gonna just watch. 一生懸命やっても全然追いつけない。Really like the other thing. We can't get any more. That's why I'm not going to be able to get any more. I'm not going to be able to get any more. I'm not going to be able to get any more. I'm not going to be able to get any more. I'm not going to be able to get any more. I'm not going to be able to get any more. I'm not going to be able to get any more. でも、チャンスが来たの。え私自身のきらめきで、立てるかもしれない。舞台の真ん中、スポットライトの中心、なれるかもしれないの。Is that one to nine? Okay. Oshimizuna. 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 Oshimizu
Can we get a full episode of just a play? That's so cool. This play is so incredible. The OST! あの日私は生まれ変わったの。舞台少女に。ああ。でも。どんなに努力しても。いつだって届かなかった。クラ、ああ。クラディン。え、わせないもげん。テンド? Is it? Song. Or is this the ending song? Maybe the ending song. It's so good. Both of them are singing. This is insane. Through the window, through the window. この王子賞のチャンス。私はこのチャンスを逃さない。絶対に逃せない。私は私の星を手に入れる。私の舞台を終わらせないために。やれ。いや、愛情。何だよ。一度で終わりたくない。私たちは何度だって舞台に立てる
1つ。マヤ、マヤ、OK。This is Tendo Maya。This is Tendo Maya。Oh boy! Okay, this episode was insanely good. Holy shit, this, this anime is getting more and more insane and I love it.、Mm. Okay, I have so many questions and I feel like they're all gonna be answered slowly. I feel like they're leading us into like this weird ass world without answering all of our questions yet. I feel like most of the questions are gonna be answered in the email. But also, why is there a talking giraffe? Is this just something we have to accept? Or is it gonna be actually explained why the giraffe is talking? Is that like a scientific explanation or is it just like a giraffe that, talk, that talks and is monitoring the auditions? I'm guessing it's the latter. <laughs> so I'm not gonna question, I'm not gonna expect scientific explanation for it.、Um, okay. And then what does it mean to win? Why do you wanna win this, these auditions? What's the grand prize if you get first place? Is it just. You're getting the main role in the Starlight play? Or is it. They said something about you can lead your own destiny if, you, if you're the winner or something like that, right? What does that mean? What does that entail? I'm guessing we'll find out as the show goes on. Also, what does it mean if you lose? Do you lose anything by it? Or do you just not win, you know? Not get the first prize? So I'm not sure about that either. Also, I'm not sure. They had nine slots on it, right? But in the first episode, they talked about an eight member story or something like that.、Mm, I'm pretty sure they said it in the opening credits of the first episode. They said like eight girls are embarking. Or, I, I don't know what they said. They, they mentioned eight girls being in a group together. But I'm pretty sure that the ranking table had nine slots in it. So I wonder what that's all about.、Um, and I wonder what. The ominous ending was all about as well. There's so many things that I don't know about, but I honestly, I'm watching it for just the sheer insanity of the place. The animation is so good. Oh my god. And the music, animation, cinematography,、uh, imagery, it's so good. I love it. I absolutely love the creative use of the set that they do on stage. As I said, I could watch the entire anime just be about setting up a new stage, performing it. And then moving on to the next one. I don't even need an overarching storyline for it. But since we're getting it, it's so interesting. I love this anime so much、mm, already. And it's two episodes in. I am so excited to watch more. God damn. I'm so happy that you guys chose,、uh, that you guys voted for this one. I'm sure the other anime are incredible as well.、Um, but this one is so good. Yeah. Anyways, I don't want to. Wow, this video is gonna be a bit long already, so I don't wanna talk about it for too long.、Um, I hope that this video will be uploaded fully onto YouTube. It's not up to me, it's up to YouTube or up to whoever decided the、uh, copyright system for it. So pray to them、uh, that it's available fully on YouTube. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!